Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about another important bodybuilding topic, caffeine. What is caffeine? Why should we take it? How it works on your body? What are the effects on your body? And how? Uh, what are the side effects, right? And what are the energy dinks? What are the energy drinks which have caffeine? And what and why? Who should uh, take these energy drinks and who should avoid or limit caffeine so all these things will be covered in this video and is there something called as caffeine addiction what happens if you have a caffeine withdrawal is there something like that so we're going to discuss all these things today in this video so don't go anywhere let's start if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos as you know guys caffeine is a substance that occurs naturally in many many plants and leaves right it's present in more than 60 plants and it is present in coffee beans tea leaves in cola nuts it's like in that which is used to uh, make colas, right? Cocoa powders, etc., etc., in chocolate, right? So, caffeine is present in many things. There is also a synthetic form, man made form of ca caffeine, which is available, which is added to some medicines, some foods and drinks. For example, in some pain relievers, some cold medicines, some over the counter medicines for alertness also contain caffeine. And some energy drinks. Rather, all energy drinks, energy boosting gums and snack, they all contain caffeine, right? Many, almost every pre-workout drink will have caffeine, right? So pre-workout caffeine is also very important. It boosts your uh, alertness. It, it boosts your sympathetic system, gives you a boost to work out more, right? So caffeine is there. Then most people consume caffeine from drinks the amount of caffeine in different drinks it varies a lot and that's not the matter of concern what what is the concern is but still I'll give you an idea a cup of tea can have anywhere between 14 to 60 milligrams of caffeine an energy drink can have 70 to 100 milligrams coffee can have 95 to 200 milligrams and cola can have 35 to 45 milligrams of caffeine so what exactly does caffeine do to your body? Caffeine has many effects on your body's metabolism. Firstly, it stimulates your central nervous system, which makes you feel more awake and gives you the boost of energy for which most of the people drink caffeine. Right? It's also a diuretic, meaning that it helps your body get rid of extra salt and water by urinating more. Right? It also increases the acid in your stomach. Sometimes this leads to stomach upset and heartburns. That's why some people can have increased gastric problem, gastritis, due to caffeine, tea, coffee, cold drinks. This even interferes with absorption of calcium in the body. Yes, caffeine decreases the absorption of calcium. That's why it should not be taken with calcium supplements. But it is good to increase your blood pressure if you have low blood pressure caffeine is good to increase your blood pressure if you already have high blood pressure it will further increase your blood pressure you should avoid caffeine so what are the effects it boosts your nervous system makes you more alert it's a diuretic it increases uh, acidity it decreases absorption of calcium and increases your blood pressure within one hour of eating or drinking caffeine it reaches a peak level in your blood within an hour can be 45 minutes can be something short also you may continue to feel the effect of caffeine for four to six hours that's why if you drink coffee in the night you will not fall asleep nicely you will not get a proper rest which you need that's why drinking caffeine should be avoided in the night time because you need proper sleep you will not go into deep sleep if you drink caffeine at 8 in the night then till 2 3 4 you will be awake so that's not useful that's one side effect of caffeine so what are the other side effects 
of too much caffeine. For most people, it's not harmful to consume up to 400 milligram of caffeine per day. If you do eat or drink too much caffeine, it can cause restlessness, shakiness, insomnia, dizziness and headaches. It can cause rapid or abnormal heart rhythm, obviously high blood pressure. It can lead to a lot of water flushed out of your body causing dehydration. Anxiety can be a side effect and dependency, addiction. Yes, you can get addicted to caffeine. And this dependency is such that you will need to take more of it to get the same result. So a kind of sensitivity resistance develops, right? Some people are more sensitive to these effects of caffeine than others. That's why not all of them have these side effects. And if we talk about energy drinks, why they can be a problem, why energy drinks are bad. Energy drinks are beverages that have added caffeine. The amount of caffeine in energy drinks, they vary a lot. But as we as we, but as, as we have but as we have seen, they can have anywhere around 70 to 100 milligrams of caffeine. That's almost like two to four times of a cup of tea. Plus, in addition to caffeine, energy drinks also contain a lot of sugars. They might be added, they might have added vitamins, herbs and supplements. But then here the main ingredients are sugars and caffeine. Companies that make energy drinks claim that these drinks can actually increase your alertness, can increase your alertness and improve physical and mental performance. And that's why many of you might be using energy drinks. Although it might just increase a little bit of your alertness and therefore your performance, but there is not enough evidence to show that it's actually increasing your strength or power at all. It's not. But we do know that energy drinks can be dangerous for sure because they have a large amount of caffeine and since they have a lot of sugars they can contribute to weight gain and worsen your diabetes sometimes people young people mix their energy drinks with alcohol it is more dangerous to combine these two things together because caffeine can interfere with your body's ability to recognize how drunk you are this can lead to more and more alcohol intake. You will not even recognize, realize when the caffeine effect stops, your body will have a huge side effect on the alcohols in a long run, even in the short run. This also makes you more likely to make bad decisions. So who should take caffeine and who should avoid? If we talk about people who should avoid or limit caffeine, it's very important for you to talk to your doctor according to your own health condition. But in general, all pregnant women should avoid caffeine. Breastfeeding women should avoid caffeine because caffeine passes through the placenta to the baby. And a small amount of caffeine is passed to your baby through the breast milk as well. So if you drink coffee and breastfeed your child, you will have a bad night because he's not going to sleep. Right? Then, if you have a sleep disorder, insomnia, don't drink caffeine. If you want to sleep, don't drink caffeine. Right? If you have migraine or other chronic headaches, stop caffeine. They tend to increase headaches. Anxiety patients, stop caffeine. If you have ulcers, gastroesophageal reflux disease, gastritis, stop caffeine. Irregular heart rhythms, high blood pressure, stop caffeine right no tea no coffee very or limit them as less as possible there are certain medicines supplements these are basically stimulants stimulants and even some antibiotics and even heart medicines which interfere with caffeine which interact with caffeine either these medicines effect becomes more or less so you have to tell your doctor now that's why you have to talk to your doctor before actually increasing your amount of caffeine intake. Right? If you're taking it for bodybuilding, if you're taking it for performance or alertness, talk to your doctor. If you're a child or teenager, then 
neither should have as much as coffee or caffeine as adults. Children can be specially sensitive to the bad effects of caffeine. That's why caffeine is a little tricky and not everybody can uh, actually with so that's all about the bad effects of caffeine. So what is caffeine withdrawal? If you do have any dependency on caffeine, that means if you have been consuming caffeine on a regular basis and when you suddenly stop, you may have withdrawal symptoms. And withdrawal symptoms will be like headache, drowsiness, irritability, nausea, difficulty concentration, difficulty in concentrating. And all these symptoms usually they last for a few days, couple of days, they go away, slowly. So that's all about caffeine which you need to know and if we finally talk about bodybuilding, caffeine is one of the best pre-workout drinks which you can take if your target is to increase your bodybuilding performance because bodybuilding athletic performance, caffeine is something which you can take to increase your performance. Let me tell you, those marathon runners actually take caffeine good amount of caffeine before starting the run and they have to first before the before the actual uh, day of marathon they avoid caffeine for even weeks and months so that the body is flushed out of all the caffeine and on that day they take caffeine because on that day the caffeine will act more as compared to if they take it regularly like I said, caffeine will have a dependency and that will lead you to need more of it to get the same result as last time. So regularly taking caffeine is also not good. So you have to think and use these things very carefully. If you're using it for a regular in general purpose, then it's okay once or twice a day but if you are using it for some benefits health benefits then think about it think about the side effects and talk to your doctor that's all about caffeine for today guys hope you're watching our exercise series weight loss series and other food related series i'm dr paramjit those who don't know me i'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nairun gadiri ncr and this is my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that's how you're going to receive the notification for the next upcoming video. Till next time, stay connected, stay healthy guys.